Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Just Tiffany B, and I'm finally back with another video. Today, I'm excited to sit down and unbox this haul because this is a makeup line I never tried before. So as you could tell by the title, and as you could tell by my face, I have on no highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have on no highlighter and I have on no lippies, so we're about to change that very quickly. But today I'm going to be unboxing um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. You can see the stars unboxed, you, you know. Um, but anyways, I tried to get my hands on the collaboration he did with Manny MUA. But um, yeah, that didn't happen. So I was already on his website, so I'm like, you know what, Jeffrey, let, let, me, let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. So I picked up two skin frosts, two skin finishes, what you call it, we'll see. One thing I can say with ordering from his line, like he informed me every step of the way. Um, <clears throat> they told me when my box was already packed, they told me that it was shipping out, they told me it was out in the area, they told me hey did you get it by now because you should have it. Like every email, like it was them updating me. So when I open up the box, the first thing I see, why did they put this in my box even though I didn't get my hands on this collection? Why? It's like they're laughing at me that I didn't get my hands on this collection. Why? But it's okay, I'll use it as a fan because it's a little hot in here. You know? Can't let the face get too oily. You know? Everything is neatly packaged. Oh, I thought that was the They've wrapped it with their um, limited edition packaging. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You see like the moon and the star. I picked up Gemini and I picked up Leo. So I was looking through his colors that he has and those seem like the best for my skin tone. So yeah, I got those two. And I also got two skin frosts and I'm so excited to finally get my hands on it because um, King Tut was like the hardest for me to get and I just gave up on trying to track it down. So finally it was in stock. So I got King Tut and I got Dark Horse. So I want to see which one, if they both look good on my skin tone or what. So we're about to find out. The size is just what's so beautiful. You know I love pink, so of course the packaging is just, this is King Tut right here. Oh my gosh, it looks so gorgeous. And then this is Dark Horse. I think out of his whole collection of highlighters, these two are the only one that I need because I don't like um, too much of a crazy highlight. So, you know, they look the same, but this one looks darker, but they're both in the gold family. Let me go ahead and swatch each of them on my hand. I'm about to touch it. This is King Tut, and this is Dark Horse. And they shining, they shining. You seen it on my hand, let's go ahead and put it on my face. Let me get a highlighter brush, I'll be, I'll be back. And you guys, just to let y'all know, um, I kind of like my highlighter to glow, so let's see if it can hold up to my standards. Just tap it off the axis here. might be my go-to you guys this what this might be my go-to Don't tell me to choose, you guys. Don't don't tell me to choose. Um, this one is very bronze goddess. Like it's very deep tone and a warm gold. And then this one is just like a champagne shimmer, um, shimmering gold. 
Mm. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I was gonna love the both of them so much. I love the formula. It's popping. It's not like sitting on top of my skin. It's kind of like just melting in and being effortless and like still slapping you in your face. Like, do you see that highlight? Of course you see that highlight. Okay, yeah, so th this highlighter, both of them are approved. I love them so much. You guys, so I'm gonna take a little break real quick and I'm gonna see if I can dupe these highlighters. So BRB, but, oh gosh, BRB. All right, you guys, so I did some swatches and I can honestly say for Dark Horse, I can't find a dupe in my collection. So I guess that's a yay because I didn't waste money and buy another highlighter that I basically already have. So Dark Horse is very unique for my collection. Um, if you want to go ahead and comment down below if you already know a dupe for Dark Horse, go ahead and let me know down below. But for Kick Tut, I kind of, I kind of found some similarities. King Tut is still different on its own because it's darker than the one that's kind of similar to it. But I'm comparing it to Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. You can still see that King Tut is like a true gold color and this still look a little bit more champagne-y. So this is King Tut and this is Gilded Honey. So they're both gold but King Tut is like a true deep warm gold. And let's go ahead and try on these liquid lippies. I'm so excited for them. So I'm trying on Gemini first, so let's pop this sucker on. <laughs> love Gemini um it is my lip color but better the perfect pink for me is like the perfect nudie dusty rosy pink I love it I don't regret this purchase at all I almost wish I tried this one on last because I'll definitely keep it on but we still have to try on Leo so let's go ahead and start that one So this is Leo. This one's a perfect nude for me while Gemini is a perfect pinky dusty rose for me. So I love the both of them. I'm glad to add them to my family. And one thing I can say, um, Gemini has a the root beer flavor to it um, for the formula. I don't like root beer so it wasn't like oh my gosh I can't put this on. It was just like a light scented um, root beer scent. I don't like it. But I rather his chemically formula no scent to it. Yeah, like it has no scent to it. Um, for Leo, it doesn't have the root beer scent. And another thing, I love his dope foot applicator because it has like a slight curve in his wand and it just hugged my lips so perfectly. I love his formula, it's very lightweight. And I honestly can't compare it to anyone else's formula because this one is lightweight and it doesn't crumble. You could go ahead and add a second layer over if you need a fixed area without it looking patchy. All right, so I went ahead and swatched Leo and I went ahead and swatched Gemini. Um, I went through my, my collection of lippies and I think I found some type of a dupe. It's not exactly a dupe, but they're close. From the NYX lingerie, lingerie line, um, Exotic. Exotic is just too dark to be paired up against Gemini, but they're similar, so you know I'm going to show you. So th those are the two. 
And then also we have Makeup Forever 109. No name to it, just 109. Okay. It's in the same family though. So this one's Gemini, this one's Makeup Forever, uh, Makeup Forever. So this is Seduction. And this one is Leo. Seduction and Leo. Like I said, they're all in the same family, but they're not exact do. Like from far away, the top two do look similar. They do. But if you like up close and you're nitpicky about your undertones, then they don't look similar. But y'all let me know if y'all found any dupes for these colors. <laughs> but those are the most similar colors I could find in my collection. They kind of all look the same. I kind of tend to the deeper mauve colors, as you can tell. I really love his line. I'm so interested to test out more of his products because so far, it's so good. Like, I, I love the highlighters. I'm loving the lippies. Oh my gosh, the lippies feel so lightweight. And they, they just match my skin tone so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for making these shades, Jeffrey. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. You'll see me in another video very soon. Bye, you guys. I'll see you later. Uh, did I say thanks for watching? Because thank you for watching. <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit that bell for more notifications because more videos will be coming your way. Okay, bye. I'm serious. Bye.